टुडे वी आर सेलिब्रेटिंग द बर्थ एंड एनिवर्सरी ऑफ आवर ग्रैंड मास्टर बाबा सावन सिंह जी महाराज वी हैव टू रिमेंबर हिम एंड हिज टीचिंग Baba Sawan Singh you know was born in this very month in the month of July in India this month is considered to be the hottest month and people thirst for rain and when it rains people enjoy very much so everything becomes green so it is said that one on this day when baba sawan singh was born it rained so heavily that it even fulfilled the uneven places <laughs> as a child he was very obedient to his parents his whole ham- family parents they were god fearing persons they used to welcome holy persons in their families this family in this village was very respectable family the name of this village was mamma singwala mamma mamma means where the praise of the god is held where the praise of god is sung huh? it is called mamma he was born there but he was sent by god huh? to work on the human pole hmm? to bless the all human being baba sawan singh was very sharp witted personality sharp witted huh? he was very intelligent throughout his uh, educational career he was very brilliant he always remained very neat and clean right from the beginning he used to observe only those things which were very useful and that could withstand him for all the time to come in the world baba sawan singh was most fortunate personality why i say he was very fortunate because his master came from the highest plane and his disciple <coughs> sant kripal singh ji also came from the same plane <laughs> he got that power so in both the way he was very fortunate so there are the very very beautiful things in the life of baba sawan singh and sant kripal singh together rather it is said that it was beautiful time when sant kripal singh came uh, to the holy feet of his master it started huh? they started a special type of vibration a special radiation huh? uh, everywhere master says you must become one with him but in their case they were already one with them one with each other huh? they were not two you know <coughs> santkarpal singh used to write so many beautiful uh, poems huh? in love with baba sawan singh whatever he saw whatever he witnessed he wrote in the form of poems and tai ji had a very melodious voice she could sing it like a nightingale very beautiful throat she had and baba sawan singh would like to hear her and baba sawan singh used to be very happy master wrote one time oh my master these shoes which you wear are far better than me because uh, it remains with you on your holy feet you wear it and i am roaming at a distant places uh, so uh, better i should have been a shoe uh, on your feet uh, like this he wrote many poems huh? so 
so there are many many incidences which happened during the time of baba savan singh once he was traveling in a train and while the train was on the platform a man was selling the very sweet grapes very fresh and sweet when he looked at baba savan singh he desired to present his grapes and he wished that if this old person accept his grace he would accept me as well <laughs> his wish was like this so he presented all his grapes and baba savan singh said it is accepted <laughs> it is said that uh, after some, some times his uh, last time came and he said that he who met me at the platform railway station he has come with me and i am going <coughs> god manifests to us not as he is but as we are so there are very rare person who see the master as is he all see through their own angle of vision how they like huh? how they wish master appear to them but there are very rare huh? who say see him in his original condition huh? original beauty huh? so sant kripal singh saw his master as he is as he was only he saw a saint can understand a saint huh? because he is very close to the saint and in their heart the whole creation lies so this was the condition of our master sant kripal singh if you really yearn for him if you love it from the heart huh? if you want him with one breath he is there huh? because he is the breath in our breath he is the breath in the breath he is so close to us it is the attention of the master which works everywhere 